city in a Batmobile. Even though it get crazy, niggas don't talk like Swayze. What up? This is Swayze, and we are literally gonna have no music to listen to this summer. Look, I'm gonna tell it to you just like this. This is gonna be a long video. So get your snack and come on back. Go get your Capri Suns. If you smoking, spark it up. If you ain't roll up yet, pause the video and go do what you gotta do. And if your girl trying to get you to blow her back out right now, tell her to chill. Swayze's on. Because there's a lot that we're gonna have to get to. Now, if you were not aware, 20 alleged Bronx gang members in violent drill rap scene has been indicted. Now this article comes out of New York Post and it reads, 20 alleged Bronx gang members were indicted Thursday in connection to a series of violent assaults and shooting over a more than three year span in the Bronx drill rap scene. Official said these defendants terrorized residents of the Fordham Bedford Park neighborhoods who were forced to run for their lives as bullets flew. The joint operation between the DA's office and NYPD resulted in a 82 count indictment against the alleged members of the G side slash drilly gang, a subset of Bloods sex money murder. Law enforcement alleges the gang's violent acts left two dead and six others wounded, and they would brag about the bloodshed in the music videos online. Thirteen of the alleged members had already been charged in heinous acts of violence, including a shooting inside a Bronx barbershop when then 18-year-old Brandon Beltres and an unarmed teen allegedly opened fire on their target in October 2021. The brazen shooting was captured on surveillance video. The new court docs also indicted 20-year-old Precious Williams, an 18 boy who allegedly shot Delilah Vasquez, 20 years old, in the forehead, killing her inside an apartment on Hall Avenue. Wow, after all these songs and disses made about this little girl, it looks like they allegedly finally solved the case. But the article ends off stating the indictment led to the arraignment of seven other alleged members who were out on the street for various crimes. We vow to keep dismantling gangs and crews and working hard to prevent the senseless violence so often associated with their activities. Police Commissioner Kachance Sewell said, Whether well, you have it, people, and we're not done. No, we're not done at all, because I got my hands on some very important information, as you can see on the screen, and I'm going to read them one by one. Now, the first one reads, on January 9th, 2019, at approximately 1 p.m., four defendants, including one teen and other individuals, surrounded an 18-year-old CUNY prep student as he left the school and attempted to rob him. The defendants allegedly attacked the victim with multiple weapons, including a knife. The victim was seriously injured and required emergency resuscitation and life-saving blood transfusion. Next, on July 20th, 2020, in front of 3343 Decatur Avenue, six defendants, including two who were teens at the time, chased James Rivera, who was 24. Four defendants allegedly shot at Rivera multiple times, and one defendant also allegedly attempted to stab him when he fell on the ground. The victim died of a gunshot wound to the back. This is crazy, and it gets even crazier. On September 29th, 2020, at approximately 2 p.m., on East Fordham Road, two juvenile defendants allegedly fired shots at their target in a busy commercial area near a subway station, endangering the lives of multiple people, including children. Thank God 
no one was injured. Next, on April 25th, 2021, inside of Rikers Island, three defendants allegedly assaulted a rival gang member. On March 17th, 2021, four defendants went to an apartment on Hall Avenue and allegedly shot Delilah Vasquez, who was 20 years old, at close range in the forehead, killing her. Video surveillance shows the defendants allegedly entering and fleeing the building. On June 28th, 2021, at approximately 10 p.m., two defendants fired multiple shots at their target in front of 3573 DeKalb Avenue. The shooting left three innocent bystanders, a 66-year-old woman, 39-year-old man, and 31-year-old man. And the last indictment reads, on the evening of October 22, 2021, two defendants waited outside a barbershop on East Gun Hill Road for approximately 15 minutes, then entered and allegedly fired multiple shots at their target. The individual who was getting a haircut at the time tried to hide behind a chair and was shot in the stomach and leg. He was taken to the hospital and survived. Surveillance video of the incident shows patrons in the barbershop running for cover. Well, there you have it, people. And if you look on your screen, you can see a list of the names of the 20 alleged Bronx gang members that were sweeped up with this indictment. Now, I guess the question is, what is there to say? It's not nothing much to say. I wish these guys the best, but honestly, it's not looking too good. And everybody knows when they do the big sweeps like this, their main goal is to keep your ass in there as long as possible. So if you ask me, even though it's an unfortunate situation, I feel like we're living in deja vu. I feel like I'm making the same video that I made last year all over again. Dozens of gang members picked up in a sweep. People lost their lives. It's all unfortunate. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, subscribe to the channel if you're not already, and make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Burp. I'm still alive. 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 I got a stick in my leg. So a stick in the Glock. Hey, look. Four and keep spinning the block. I ain't going in the crib till I hit me a top. We gon' slide on your ass if you like it or not. I got a baby on the way. Gotta give me some guac. I got shot. I'ma hop my way to the top.